Hi my YouTube family, how are you doing? It's Lillian again, Lillian from Kenya to Montana, USA. Thank you so much for your support, even when I was away. Um, I'm back and I really appreciate all of you for getting me to 3K subscribers while I was away. I appreciate you. Your comments, your likes, your sharing, your subscription, I do appreciate and as i promise i'll always update you where i am in life um and uh yeah so far nothing new i'm still lillian from kenya to montana usa still here in the in montana montana is a beautiful state let me tell you um there are no many uh africans here we are few but montana is a very beautiful state with good people, welcoming people, loving people, and I just feel at home. I don't feel that harsh, like that rush people talk about. I haven't met any racism. It's important for me to comment on racism that so far, two years down the line, I have not met any racism. My kids have not met any racism so far, and... um. We have been taken in like we have been, um, we are being protected by the larger community of Montana. That's why I will always appreciate Montana and the people of Montana for um, receiving us. And like, you know, you are being protected by them. You're being loved. You feel like you are at home. And um, yeah. I know someone is ready with an answer to say, someone is, is ready with a comment to say how cold it is. Winter is cold. Winter is cold here. It's um, around four months. And in a year, you have 12 months. So you're going to feel cold for four months and, and you're going to feel warm for eight months. So I'm not trying to tell someone to come to Montana. I'm just trying to give my view and everybody who, can give his or have you uh depending to the place he, he stays so i want for the two years i've been here is a state that you can come and start a family and you won't face like you are an odd one out that feeling that people think we are feeling you know um i always have this question on my lives which are the best states to relocate to? Everybody wants the best state. And what is what do you mean best state? It's like asking which country can I relocate to? Which is the best country I can relocate to? So which is the best country to relocate to? Which is the best state? To? Everything has been moderated wherever you go to. People, some people, I do respect people's choices. I do respect what people think the best is. For someone, most of us, the best state means where Kenyans are, where you wake up and see the black people. And when you come to the states and you're going to that state that has black people, you get a culture shock because people are busy. People are busy. There's no way you're going to mingle these people. People are busy doing their work. You're going to meet them in, at workplaces. You're going to meet them on the uh, shopping centers or churches because there's no, I know, back home, something like a wedding. We could have thousands and thousands of people attending your wedding. But for a culture shock in this country, a wedding will be attended by 10 or 15 people. And to them, they are okay. That's a good number. To you, it looks like this is not a wedding, just kind of something. And that's a church wedding. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of a joke. At home, in fact, um, burials. So many, so many people attend. Even you can get more than a thousand people attending a burial. But here, how many people attend? Very few. Family, even you get five people from the family and they're okay with it culture shock so if you you want to choose a set your best is 
a state that has black people, you will choose that state and they are there. A state that pays a lot of money, that's your best. We have those states there, you will choose. But I'm just talking of Montana according to me. I did not choose Montana, but I found myself because I got a job here. And at first I was I was like what the heck is this? I've never even heard of this state. I only know I know if you talk of USA you're talking of Texas. You know in our country when you talk of United States you are talking of Texas. Places like Georgia, Texas, California. Mostly that's what we know what USA is about. Now you're bringing a state like Montana that we've never heard about. But what I can tell you, any state that you want, you find job in, you can go there and settle down. People in America, they are good. I know there's a lot of negativity out there. People trying to tell others how you feel rejected or something, workplace. Personally, I've not got into that. I'm not saying it's always peaceful. We have other challenges, like the biggest challenge to me is child care, nothing else. And it's a big challenge because I want to go out and make money. I want to go to work. It's a challenge because I don't want to stay in the house like today, staying in the house because of the kids. But at the end of the day, who is the parent to this kid? You know, it's like home we had house managers. You live with them and you go work and get money. But now you get that restriction. Like you have to stay at home with your kids. That's the the main challenge. So, um, and I believe is everywhere in the States. Even if you go where Africans are, you're going to pay them to stay with your kids. It's not free and it's not cheap. You know, because you're going to where Kenyans are, they are going to take care of your kids freely. It's not free. So we are all in this. Come with your kids. Don't leave your kids behind. Come, let's hustle together and we'll make kids grow very fast. We'll get through that. Okay, we'll get through that. Some people, yeah, and this one is serious and I, I, I really... Um, I really respect people who, who say the best state is where they can get Kenyan food. That's so correct. That one you are at least you're making a lot of sense. You can get Kenyan food. So if you go to somewhere where you can just go to a market and buy unga ya ugali, buy skuma, buy uh, umena, yeah, that's cool. You can get that to this in the south, I think. So, but if you are coming where I am and these tests that are almost where I am, you get get used to the food that is available or you order food online. We have Amazon, we have Farmer's Choice, a packet of unga ya ugali, a packet of a corn flour. It's only 20, $23. It's not a lot of money to get a packet of 2 kg of unga ya ugali. So, it's not something that you can't have. We have the Kells, Kuma Wiki, Zikoko Supermarket, Ziko Walmart, all supermarkets, they have them. Cabbage is all over. Yeah. There's beans, there's rice, those things, there's fish. Tilapia is there. You can get your umena from home. Umena from home, in, it can stay. I have my umena, I still, I still eat, and it's almost a year. Since I came with it, and it's still good. It was fried omena. It doesn't smell. Some people think it will smell. No, they wrap in the, um, these colorless papers. They wrap in there so many times, and then yeah, there's no smell. You come and eat with your garlic. So you you can survive outside those best tests, you think, and you can make life anywhere. You want to. That's not why I came here. <laughs> That's not what I was intending to talk about, but I had to because I was trying to give you an update that I have been on this, in this state. And to the best of my knowledge, 
since I've not been in other any other states, I've not worked anywhere else. To the best of my knowledge, this is the best place for me and my family. My kids love here. By the way, my son is a, a student leader. He campaigned and he was voted by students, most of the students, and he's now a student leader. And I'm proud. I'm a very proud mother. So, yeah, you're given an equal opportunity, even in the campaigns and whatever. Anyways, let's, let's talk, let's think of other things. So, yeah, wherever you go to, those things you're say, saying, better states, you will not get everything in one state. You're not going to get a warmer state that pays so highly, that has Africans, Kenyans, not even Africans, Kenyans, that has what? I don't know what else, but most Kenyan food, those are the four things people want in one state. You want a state that has a lot of blacks, and you still want a state that pays so well. And you still want that state to be very warm, like home, like Kenya. And you want you want Kenyan food in that state. So where are you going to get all these things? Even in your own county. In Kenya, we have counties. You don't have all, everything in one, one county. You can't get whatever you are getting in Kisumu. You can't get it in Kakamega or... You get fish in Kisumu, fresh and cheaper than in Nairobi. In Nairobi, you'll get, <laughs> in quotes, plastic fish, very expensive and branded tilapia from Kisumu. But that's life. You survive wherever you are. Go pos the main thing is to have a positive mind. Have a positive mind. Whatever you are doing, be positive about it. Love whatever you are doing. Love your life, wherever you are. Just be contented with what you are. And then always remember what you came for. You did not come for Dunda. Anyway, but I know most people don't come for Dunda. People who are coming of my age, people in their 30s and their 40s, they don't come for Dunda. So you're coming to look for money that's why you're coming with your family if you are in a position to come here don't leave your kids home don't leave your husband or your wife home come with them come with them they'll keep you company they yeah they'll keep you company you will not feel any loneliness and loneliness it's 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 there but nowadays we have we have social medias, you get to TikTok, you get to YouTube, and you won't have that time to be lonely. You're always having people to talk to. If you feel lonely, come on TikTok. You'll find me there. We'll talk. Tutapiga <laughs> udaku. No. So don't, don't stay there. You say, oh, I'm lonely. I don't have anybody. I'm single. I don't have, I don't have a family to talk to. I don't have the... the time difference, I cannot call home, come to social media, come to Snapchat, come to TikTok. Let's talk about, go to the a space and you'll find people already there you'll talk to. That's the beauty of that. YouTube is a bit complicated to me. I've not learned about live on YouTube, but I know, I believe it can be a good place to but we are looking forward to that okay let me i'll be making another video i'll end this here